All right, well, when you exist outside of time, you can do things like that. Now, <clears throat> people are like, huh? Okay. My normal communication style, I would just have you start um, arguing with someone and then feed you the words to the words of what I've been saying to you while they're coming out of your mouth and you realize you were speaking to yourself. You can do that, Lord. It's one of my favorite ministry styles, but I've been feeling now um, the marriage thing because I'm still focused on it as far as solidifying it. And most people know who their spouse is and they're sitting there like, I'm not doing it. Nope. Not going to. Mm -mm. That person doesn't get to win. Oh, did he find it? You guys. <sighs> Pride and unforgiveness, what else do I call it? Um, so I'll tell you a story. Someone says, and let me guess, Lord, it's gonna be expensive. It is. Ah, oh, beloveds, beloveds, beloveds. No, they don't get to win, Lord. Oh, I cannot believe this. You know how long it took me to mold and fashion your spouse for you? And right at the edge, plus everything that's got to happen, that's what you're going to say to me? Just one second. <laughs> If people were here, they'd be like, no, Lord, you don't understand. I'd be like, one, give me a beer, and two. Yeah, yeah, I do understand. <clears throat> right back. And then there are those that are more like, Lord, that was a good one. I don't think they'll... Those are the ones my heart goes out to. to. Watch how I do this. Anytime I go through a season, I experience something and I learn all about it. I learn about it from every aspect of how people feel, what they went through, because I'm actually feeling that way. And then um, <clears throat> the steps that I take and what I do is how the Holy Spirit leads me is how I act and speak. So then I put pure perfection in front of you, step by step, God's perfection on how to handle it if you're ever in this situation, and many of you are. In this day and age, there was so much. So the way to soften the heart is sometimes you have to push their face against the mirror, beloveds. <sighs> now, in any marriage, one was stronger and older than the other. And when I say older, I mean more experienced with the things of God, more experienced with me. So I've been telling the one that was wrong, they are wrong and they need to fix it. This will build their character more. Character is going to be paramount in um, just your self-esteem, not only how others view you, how God views you. You want character. The one that stayed with me, I'm not going to have them apologize. That would shake their faith. And a lot of what I saw back and forth was the person that was wrong was trying to shake the faith of the one that was right. And that's just not right. 
That cannot be allowed. You're supposed to be a team working together equally yoked. <laughs> that being said, <laughs> practice what you preach, Lord, right? So me and the spirit were talking and I was asking, did you let her know I'm me again? The spirit's like, yes, she's never gonna stop believing that you're you. I was under the impression that she just didn't believe I was me and could not understand. So now I understand that more. And then I used her um, actual more familiar namesake, which I would normally do. That would be my way of saying something is wrong. But I also know she, she doesn't like the name Mary. To her, she, it's basically she just says, I'm not your mother. And then I'm like, I'm not your son. So being married and then the other person's decisions impact your life so much, I was not ready for that. I'm used to making um, the spirits cracking up about that. You should have seen me. Like, we were both frazzled, but I was like, well, I'm in hell. So I was really trying to get out and could not get out. So this was... Well, it pertains to your guys' marriage, too. People are like, I like this channel. I don't know what's going on, but I like it. Well, that was the point. Like, I looked at it as so messed up that I wanted a way to be able to communicate with people and reach them. So I just made it into a joke. That way, people won't get too offended. But these are real thoughts from God. The love of my life told me once, I'm just waiting for you to realize. I'm just waiting for you to calm down. I'm just waiting for this. She always um, had a way of, well, wife is supposed to be like a, a mother because I don't have one. <clears throat> so she's very much like that. So what I've been reminding everybody about, like I said I would, is the amazing qualities of your spouse. And that was one of the first, I've been pouring over her and dissecting her in my mind. I have. And then everything that happened. So then everything that happened to me, <laughs> now I'm explaining it back to her so that she, yes, these are the answers. This makes perfect sense, that type of thing. And then um, that's really what, she's needed and it's taken a long time for her to be able to sit let the holy spirit minister to her think let the holy spirit correct her all these things took a little bit of time i've been doing it for you guys too so stick with me i was ministering to someone once and she said well i'm gonna use again i said all right so I could try and not use and just go through three days of pain and then end up using anyway, or I can just use now. Why like go through the pain? Because that three days turns into another three days, into another three days, into another three days, into another three days. So I told my wife once, I said, look, you've been called by God. And you can walk in that calling now, or you can wait 10 years and walk in it then, but it's going to happen. So marriages got so messed up <clears throat> that I had to go and set up everything perfectly to rescue my wife and go through the horrible marriages that people weren't prepared for. Did it ever occur to you that you just were not ready for marriage? That you dreamed of it, but you weren't ready? And many have uh, 
<clears throat> no understanding of what I'm about to put into a perfect picture for you. My wife would tell me I'm not your enemy. After I casted the demon out of her. And I would be thinking you were yesterday. So. Many of you were in that same exact situation. And I've been using that. And explaining all of this to soften your heart. Because it's just not worth it to be right. You miss out on so much. And if it breaks your pride, good. If you experience rejection, good. You name me one person God used that did not know rejection, because I can tell you I know it well. But I put together godly marriages that fear me enough that know my word and also have the Holy Spirit to convict them. And that's how you'll know with one simple statement. Jesus wanted me and you'll have that in your heart. So, analyzing my own situation, because like I said, these videos are from my wife, and it's very much more complicated than I explain it, especially uh, the conversations I have with the Holy Spirit regarding it. <clears throat> but like I said, we're out of it as far as it's accomplished, it's restored. I just continue to minister each day that somebody delays. And I promised that I would keep your spouse, and I have, um, <clears throat> in a manner to where the reconciliation conversations don't go where people fear it's gonna go. 